Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info. Today I'm going to show you how to insert a title block into a brand new drawing or uh, any blank layout space. So as you can see I've just got a, if you look up here it's just drawing one, so I've just got a brand new drawing uh, with two basic layouts. Um, this is just stock um, so first up we're gonna go to page setup manager and you're gonna uh, make sure the layout is set up to the correct uh, size for the title block that you've got if you've downloaded the free title blocks from better at everything info um, this will work for the eight and a half by eleven landscape version that's what I'm gonna show you today uh, but the same basic method works with every template um, especially all the ones I've done so to start we're going to make sure that 8.5 by 11 is selected and we're also going to select landscape because that's the template we're going to or the title block we're going to insert once you've chosen landscape to insert um, this is where you can pick your plotter up here I'm going to leave it as none uh, because I don't have a printer hooked up right now but you would pick your printer and you might need to adjust your properties right here uh, so that the margins all fit and everything uh, once you've got eight and a half by eleven you've got layout selected and landscape you can hit OK and now you've got just a blank layout space with no title block to insert a title block you're going to use the insert command just like you would with uh, any block so you can type I and enter or insert and enter or spacebar for enter that'll bring up the insert dialog box and now you're gonna browse to where you saved the uh, the downloaded templates I've put mine in templates folder and we're gonna use the eight and a half by eleven title block in landscape which means it's wider than it is tall portrait would be this one where it's taller than it is wide. Um, they both come with the uh, for free if you download them off my website or uh, titleblocks.com where you can get the full template with 11 by 17 and 8.5 by 11 as well as scale bars and north arrows and all that. You can buy them there. I think they're $29 right now. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. It saves you a lot of time. But back to this. To insert a uh, title block, you just select it, hit open. We're going to specify the insertion point on screen. So you're going to leave that box checked, but you want to make sure that scale is not checked. Uh, we don't need to scale it because it should be coming in at 8.5 by 11. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to hit Redefine if you happen to have something else in there. Um, that's just because I was playing around with this earlier. So as you can see the bottom left hand corner is where I'm inserting. So I'm going to zoom in as tight as I can here. I'm going to keep zooming in. Whoops, I lost it. Zoom out a bit. Zoom back in and there's the left corner. So you're just going to want to line those two corners up. You see how it looks like it's right on the line? And click. Now you can zoom out and see how you've placed it. Now if you look, you can see this dashed line, which is the print border, as it'll leave a margin around it, is completely outside of the title block. That means you've done this right. The inside of the dashed line is the printable area. So all of this title block stuff is visible. As you can see here, you can insert your own logo. Uh, to do that, you can uh, right, like, click on the block, right click, and go into the block editor and insert your logo there. Or if you have an image kind of logo on file references or external reference, which you get to by the insert tab and this arrow here. If you right click in here, you can insert an image there and put your logo over top of that. Uh, as far as editing or changing the information on the title block, you can do that by typing in ED and enter and then clicking to select what you'd like. Um, 
what else is there? Uh, that's about it for uh, inserting a title block. Uh, as you can see, it automatically updates the path where the drawing is saved. So if you save it as, it'll update here so you can always find your drawings. And you've got the revision stuff here. Again, that's available on the website. But this is how you insert a title block. Uh, if you've got any questions, post them up on the uh, comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the site. Thanks for watching. Cheers.